Hi there! In this video we're diving into the world of After Effects templates. Get ready to transform your video creation workflow and create fully responsive, stunning templates in After Effects. Now, creating templates can be pretty tricky. You need to set up certain things that will ensure that your templates are bulletproof and don't look like this if you want to insert longer text or an image with different dimensions. Whole process that you'll see can be applied on templates from Envato Elements or any similar marketplace or on your own custom-made templates. Watch until the end because I'll share some nifty secrets with you. We're going to explain these five steps. First, how to prepare your assets, that includes images and videos. Second, how to prepare your text so it's fully responsive. How to create color controllers. How to create switches so you can turn your layers on and off. And how to create automatic fadeaways. So your layers can nicely animate in and out regardless of their duration. Here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's see how our template actually looks. We have a logo, we have video headline, we have property address, property city and or state, pricing, we have property type, square footage, we have number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms, while in the background we have images of course, so we have 10 images. That's pretty straightforward, but how do we make it fully responsive? Like this. First bullet on our list are images or assets. Basically our goal is that whatever image we insert here that it fits perfectly. So it doesn't have any empty spaces and it's not zoomed in weirdly or something like that. That's why we are creating separate composition for every image. And Let's see what it contains. Here we have our image with scale to comp script. What this script does, basically it fits our image perfectly. So we can see if we turn it off, we can scale it whatever and however we want. And once we check this box, this happens. Second checkbox creates something like this. This option has its own use cases, but for images, I like to fit them fully. Let's see what happens if we change this image with vertical image. So let's go with this agent headshot. This happens and that's the problem. But we have a solution for that as well. We are adding an expression to this scale to fill property. I'm just gonna paste it here. Basically, it recognizes if image is vertical or horizontal and it turns this checkbox on and off. So it works for every dimension. Awesome, right? We are doing the same with every image in our template. With headshots, with the logo as well. But for logo, we want to allow it to have empty spaces. Well, because we don't want our logo to look something like this, right? Next step is text preparation. This is my favorite part because with text you can do some really, really crazy stuff. Number one, paragraph text. When we have solo text in our composition, we always want to use paragraph text. Why? Basically so it doesn't run off our screen. Now, you probably notice that while I'm typing, my text is always in the middle. Well, that's because I use this nifty expression. Basically, it always keeps our text centered. We can customize it as well, so we can get something like this. For example, if we want our text to be centered to the left, right? Awesome! Next method when it comes to creating fully responsive text is text box. So we get something like this, right? The text box is scaling along with our text. How do we do that? Well, we are using this expression over here on size property of our rectangle. These numbers over here are actually our margins. So we can make them larger if we want. Let's do 2000, something like that. So we get something like this or create something like this maybe. Now, since this is a name of our agent and I know that nobody's name contains like 100 characters, 
characters. This text isn't paragraph text, but a simple point text. But what if we want to create multi-line responsive text box? For example, we want to press enter and write something like this. Doesn't work, right? So we are adding this expression once again, so our text is constantly centered. When going with this option, be sure that your text box isn't parented to your text. So we're just gonna remove the parent and let's try how it works. Nice. Okay, but what if we want to keep our text as a single line? So we want to write, 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 and our text always gets cut off. Well, for that, we're gonna need a solid layer and this expression over here. Basically, it bounds our text to the width of our bounding box. So if we scale down the bounding box, our text gets scaled down as well. Let's see how it works actually. So we have our text writing, 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 and it just gets smaller and smaller. The only problem with this is that your text is probably not gonna be unified. So you're going to get something like this. Well, that's why you'll have to compromise. Find what works the best for that part of the template. Let's go through our template once again and see what we've used and where. Here we have paragraph text, bounding box, responsive text box, bounding box, bounding box. Here we have a bunch of bounding boxes and responsive text box. Okay, I think this is pretty simple and clear. What if we want to add two phone numbers, for example? So we want to have something like this or this, and we can see that this won't work really well. Well, for that we use pins and boxes. Nifty plugin from AE Scripts. Plugin looks something like this. Basically, we select our text and click on pins. So the pins are following our text box. And you probably know what's going to happen next. Basically, we want to connect these layers over here to our pin. So let's connect our icon to our text over here, agent email, and icon for brokerage. We are connecting it to our brokerage name. Now we just parent these two text layers to our bottom left pin. So let's see now, we are pressing enter and everything is moving accordingly. Okay, this is pretty cool, right? You probably realize that we have this line over here that moves with our text. Well, that line is also connected to our pins. With these pins and boxes, we can create some pretty crazy stuff. I mean, this is insane, right? The next step is color control. Basically, we want to switch colors with just one controller. Now, you're probably thinking, yes, there is a color control effect. Well, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use color hex codes. Basically, we want this to be an input that's gonna be translated into a color. So, for example, if I switch this color over here, I'm just gonna paste some random hex code, we're gonna get different color in whole composition. Or if we change our secondary color, let's see what happens, the other color is changed. So how do we achieve that? Well, we do that with this expression over here. Basically, it translates our color codes into a color. So we can choose if we want it to be linked with secondary color or a primary color. Usually, if it's a text or something like that, I just like to add fill effect and add this expression to that fill effect so I can just copy and paste it wherever I want. Now in this control composition besides colors we also have these two layers called option attributes off and option price off. What they actually do? Well, they turn our pricings and attributes on and off. So let's see if we write here true and here true. Let's see what happens. We don't have our price anymore, our price is hidden and we don't have these attributes over here so they are hidden basically and we can only see property address and property city. So if you choose 
falls on attributes. We can see our attributes, but we don't see our price. Or let's try the other way around. We're gonna write true for attributes and false for pricing so now we see our pricing but not our attributes right this is great if you know for sure that you need some really really dynamic template that you can switch things on and off without having to move everything back and forth so how do we do this let's check it out in this case i have separate compositions for attributes on or attributes off situations so if we choose attributes off this composition is visible and if we choose on these ones are visible and we have the same thing going on with pricing so let's see expression here basically it's a simple if else expression on opacity property so it says if option attributes off equals true then our opacity will be on 100 and if not then it's gonna be zero and for the other way around we have this expression basically the numbers are just flipped same for pricing same for these attributes over here now with these switches we can create some pretty pretty crazy stuff we can choose how many images do we want in our template with just one number input we can choose different music we can choose different compositions to be visible we can choose different intro different outro with just one number i mean our goal is to have as low number of inputs as possible now let's imagine this we want our price to animate in and animate out at one point but we don't want to move our keyframes every time we want to change that so what if we can write an expression that's basically gonna animate in and out depending on this layer's duration well for that we are adding this fade in and fade out expression basically it's gonna fade in for 0.3 seconds and it's gonna fade out once we come to an end so what happens something like this we have a fade in let's shorten this thing up and we have a nice fade out and if we move this part we can see that it's still fading out in the end so basically it's like having two keyframes always fixed to an end and to beginning so if we move the beginning we can see that the same thing happens right now you can even go one step further so you can create in this control composition you can create a layer named transitions so basically we can control duration from this layer one tiny trick to do here is to write parse float so it pushes our number as a float or as a decimal number right for example if you want to add this expression or this fade away to 10 or 15 layers compositions and we want to be able to control the timing of transitions we don't really want to set everything manually right we are just gonna create something like this and we're gonna have one controller for for duration of our transitions well done you've successfully created your first fully responsive after effects template as you can see if you use the right expressions the rest of the process will go with ease once you set everything up always test your templates with the worst possible scenario i'm talking about long paragraphs of text different dimensions for images and videos and random colors that way you'll be sure that everything works smoothly now you probably need a template for high volume video creation so i just want to mention that after you created your template you can upload it to our video automation software plainly where you can download thousands of videos fully automatically feel free to visit our website plainlyvideos.com to try it out thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we have a lot of crazy videos over there